I'm in, I'm I'm question. legitimately interested because this doesn't even look like a pumpkin. Look, we can't all have the merry magician's favor. Oh wait. Hmm. Are you How? saying the magician enchanted everybody else's pumpkin but yours? Probably. <laughs> so what did you do to not be in her favor so we cannot do that? I don't know. I guess I didn't dance around the town square like a froof. Wait, you guys we have... have to start dancing like fruits immediately. <laughs> Wait, no, no, I want to hear more about this before I begin dancing. What is this fruitiness you mentioned? All the other, all the other farmers around whom are selling their own produce, but yes, predominantly pumpkins, are looking at him grumpily as he's like smoking on his pipe and going on about, um, oh, this festival has just been going on too long. Uh, growing too many pumpkins is bad for the land. Uh, pumpkins in my days. Pumpkins in my days were much bigger without any of this magic nonsense that he knows everybody else has, and he raises his voice at that last part, and everybody around him groans and rolls their eyes. Though uh, some some of the younger farmers who aren't as good at lying uh, look a little shifty and nervous about it. Wait, so you're saying everybody in this town has an unfair magical advantage except you? Yeah. How else do you explain can, this rot? Can Prowzia do a magic check on some pumpkins? I, I could do that. I could magic check the pumpkin. Look, if I'm not going to take any magic from the Merry Magician, why should I take it from you, kid? I want my pumpkins to be honest. No, so I think Prouchy like... wants to check the pumpkins for, oh, for magic. Yeah. I would like to scan the pumpkins for magic. I okay. will distract. I guess that's detect magic or something. I don't know. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let me check my skill description. Just roll some number. It's fine. Ro no, roll this, intelligence. This, we have to do you... this by the book. <laughs> so roll roll and... when, do, when does that start happening? Knowledge, <laughs> uh, knowledge arcane is based on intelligence. Do an intelligence roll. Okay, fine. I have a better skill for it, though. I'm sure it's certain. All right, we'll figure okay. it out. We'll give you exactly three minutes. Three minutes? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what did you do, I'm not even sure if it's a pumpkin. I think you made a pumpkin go. Oh, no. You have seen a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> the coconuts aren't magical. That's, that's literally <laughs> all I can tell you on a natural one. Like, there's nothing else I can do. Wait, I'm sorry. Joey, Joey will roll his magic detection because he ate a pumpkin. And he doesn't, I guess he'll feel if it's magical in his gut. So that's going to be a plus okay. zero. He is a cleric rock, now, so this is rock meets rolled, dumb. and those are definitely pumpkins. Oh wait, can I uh, can I roll a nature check to see if the pumpkins seem man? Magical? Joey, okay, Joey's like, yeah, these pumpkins are probably magical. They taste bad. <laughs> <laughs> this this pumpkin is not. And the pumpkin pump seller is like, do you like pumpkins? And Joey's like, no. I hate pumpkin. <laughs> Why would I ever eat oh. a pumpkin? It's so gross. I realized what I meant to roll. I meant to roll spellcraft. Can I can I roll spellcraft? You still rolled a one though. <laughs> still rolled a one, um, yeah. But if I rolled spellcraft, I would have got a ten rather than an eight. That's not. You still would have gotten a one. One on the That's... die takes precedence, unfortunately. <laughs> can, just... can I give her my roll of ten? And Pala just say was going to do something one? with nature. Yeah, can I roll a nature check and see if these pumpkins seem natural? Hell yeah. I'm, I know shit loads about nature. Yeah, tell us how you learned about pumpkins. Uh, I grew up in the forest near pumpkins. There were pumpkins everywhere all the time. Who grew the best pumpkins in your village? Uh, that was uh, Jackie O'Keefe. She grew <laughs> the most amazing pumpkins. Okay, so... Sorry, though. Come on, you... And what you learned from all those long hours hanging out with Jackie O'Keefe is that it's definitely <laughs> way too late in the season to be growing any pumpkins of quality. And these brownish pumpkins are definitely the result of what happens if you try. Because pumpkins ah. are pretty okay at resisting cold, but not that good. I see. So. I share this knowledge with the party. Wait, so you're, you cranky guy, you're really the only one who's on the up and up, looks like. Yeah, buy my pumpkins. I don't want your crappy pumpkin, but maybe <laughs> I can Fine, help. buy some of my other produce then, Mr. Picky. I don't like Does your other fruit. produce suck as much? <laughs> no, look at this. He like pulls out another rack and it's actually all pretty good because it's like actually in season stuff. He's like, if it wasn't for this pumpkin craze. <sighs> Why are pumpkins so popular? Why are not some other vegetables? The Merry Magician just likes pumpkins or something. I don't know. This whole town has gone crazy ever since she showed up. Does anyone know anything about the Merry Magician? Like, what what is her real name and where did she come from? And her why? name's really long and hard to pronounce, so everybody just calls is her she, the Merry Magician. Is she an elf? It's pro I don't know. Probably. 
You all look the same. This guy's a hobgoblin. Oh, oh okay. I, I, I imagine I don't look the same. I don't. Well, he means everybody that isn't like monster folk. He likes Prowl. So, so he's he doesn't talking Paola. specifically to Paula. Yes. Only Paula. He, he, <laughs> gest Paula he gestures do, to we Paula. Look, we do look pretty similar. Yeah. We, we all have the same ears and stuff. It's fine. She Nobody wears, could tell the difference between me and Jackie. She wears <laughs> blue. Time. She has a face. What do you want from me? So, I don't know. We're trying to get a audience with her. What would be the best way? What's the opposite of what you did, other than not dancing? Um, I don't know. Kiss her feet next time you see her? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> no thanks. So it's at this point that a few town guards come over, and they're like, all right, sir, I think it's time for you to pack up your vegetables and head home. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I f figures. And he like... Hey, why are you hassling this guy? He's just trying to sell his shitty pumpkins. These these guards look significantly more... significantly more impressive. Whatever, I look significantly impressive with an eight. I'm just saying. That's <laughs> No, you don't, but I'm just saying that they do. Okay. And... Just like, we just don't want this uh, gentleman to cause any disturbances in our fine town, sir. Wait, you're saying that if we help you detain this anti-magical magician uh, insurgent, then we can get an audience with the merry magician. I don't think that's what he's saying. That's no. what you just said to me just now, right? That is not what I'm saying at all, sir. Please I move along. So. I think that's what he said. But I'll move along anyway. Are yeah. they letting the hobgoblin pack up nicely, or are they kind of like... Yeah, they're letting him pack up. Stuff? They're not messing with him or anything. Now, if the lady likes pumpkins so much, maybe we could get a faster audience by just destroying all the pumpkins. <laughs> that seems like the way to get that would an... suit this party. That seems like a way to get an anti-audience. I want to I wanna wait. Let's do that after the, the fighting, because I want to wear a costume and fight skeletons. I guess so. We kind of pats rock meets on the head. Hmm. I don't literally like the way these guards are hassling this one guy just because he said something bad about the magician. Hmm. Can't we do the fight? We can do His the pumpkins fight. Pumpkins were crappy. He deserves it. And the fight is tomorrow. We have to find something to do until then. We could go try to clean up that inn. <laughs> no, we're not gonna. Do that. <laughs> We can either try and do everything we can to impress the townspeople and better over or in the Mary Mission's favor, or we can investigate whatever her suspicious doings are. Now that you've had a chance to talk to somebody who isn't a big fan of the Mary Magician, pretty much everyone else you've talked to, except maybe Blue Light Guy, has been a real big fan. Uh, well, that's just it. You notice that every single other person you see is a big fan, which is a little unusual. You know, public figures usually don't have a 99% approval rating. I... Can I, like, um, do spellcraft not on the pumpkins, but on people in this town in general? Yeah. Just to determine if something is going on. Yeah. Please don't roll a one. Roll anything but a one. Oh my oh, god! god damn it! <laughs> god damn it! Are you kidding? That's, that's bullcrap. Roll again. <laughs> okay. If you roll a one again... <laughs> And such oh. oh my god! Oh my god! I want to with my dice. Magic today. exists. <laughs> okay, I'm rolling to help. I got a fourteen. <laughs> yeah, everybody's got to roll to assist. We got to roll to assist with this magical. Ch oh my god! I don't assist. I anti-assist. Just oh my god. stop rolling dice. You're not helping your situation. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh my god. But even I'm with that low use. roll, it is so obvious to us that Prowzia realizes... That magic exists. No. <laughs> That's it? No, 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 no. I'm just thinking of a good way to phrase it. Like, it's definitely not that the people are being directly controlled or anything like that, because a magic spell that powerful and, like, cast over that many people would be real obvious. Mm -hmm. It's just like a... I guess you could call it a scent in the air. Something fishy. Oh. So. She... Wait, who ate pumpkin in this party other than Joey? She's controlling people with pheromones. Oh, I had, I had well, pastries. Not a real scent okay. in the air. Just like, a, you could just as well call it a taste in the air or a tingle in the air. Just Everyone like, who eats pumpkins mm -hmm. is under the control of the magician. I don't think that's true because I ate a pumpkin and I'm fine. Yeah, Joey uh, doesn't give a shit about the merry magician. Yeah. I want to use diplomacy on someone to see if I can try and 
speak to them nicely enough that they let something slip. Cool. Yeah, do that. Please don't roll a one. Was that your nine that just popped? It was. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty good. You're just chatting somebody up. They seem nice. They're named Jeff. They're like an amateur farmer. They were one I of wink the at them. They were. Oh. They haven't gone. <laughs> that doesn't work because you're a rabbit. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Farmers are weird. That's true. Farmers are weird. Anyway. This no, is like I, a young I was farmer, though. About the erotic fantasy. This is a young farmer. He hasn't had a chance to grow into his weirdness yet. This was one of the ones who looked a little bit more nervous when the guy insinuated that everyone else's pumpkins were magical. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, he finally just let slip that um, the merry magician just like gave most of the farmers a vial of magic water to help the pumpkins stay fresh. So these pumpkins haven't been freshly grown; they've just been preserved. Huh. So, why do you give it to just you guys and not that one guy with the rotten, rotten pumpkins? He's a, he's kind of a jerk. He's never really liked he's never really liked the holidays, and the merry magician just seems like a real big fan of the holidays. So, I guess it just seems natural, you know. I mean, she, I mean, she certainly, she certainly <laughs> tried. She certainly tried to share it with him, and some of us tried to share it with him. But he was always so insistent that his pumpkins and other produce would uh, just, you know, be natural. Hmm. You know, old folks. Haha. He laughs nervously. <laughs> he doesn't like magically modified food. Yeah. Yeah. He GMOs. doesn't like orange dye. Huh. Well, I guess that makes <laughs> sense. The twist ending to this the twist ending to this is that the magic water was actually orange paint. <laughs> That's not true, but go yes, collar collar go ahead. I ask if uh, they have any of it left. He's like, "Um, sure, I have a little bit, but I don't think I should be sharing it with you guys unless you guys are farmers." I mean, the the merry magician herself said that it was just you to be used to extend the hus ho uh, holiday since everybody seems to be enjoying it so much. Well, I want to. Mind if I took a magical look at it? You can still keep it. I just if we just want to look at it. If you omit the word magical from that sentence, it'll probably. Do you mind work. if I take a look at it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, okay. He just like. Okay. Pulls out a wooden mug that has a little bit on it that he's just been pouring over the pumpkins today. Magic vision. <laughs> There we go. Magic vision works. There we it's, go. It's exactly what he says. It's just preservative. Um, mm. Whatever the source of the magic is that you sent in the air, this stuff. Mm, I don't know. You're just, just struggling to describe how magic... How does Prausia experience magic, do you think? Whoa, what do you mean? Like... Do when things you, that are magical look slightly different or anything like that? Like When you detect magic, how does it appear to Prousia? Well, I mean, she's a, she's a snake, so all of her stuff is probably in her vision. Okay, so... Um, this definitely looks magical, but it doesn't look like the same type of magic that you've um, seen in the air vaguely. Hmm. When you first came to town, it's understandable that you missed it, because... Basically, with so many happy people around. Um, just it's like, like a faint saccharine tint in the air. Like yeah, kind of it's odd. like it. It's like at Disneyland when they pump in smells. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, freshly baked cookies. I want some. Oh wait, Pala ate them all. Yeah, there are no cookies left in town. Pala. No, there are some. Pala can run off if she wants. <laughs> she doesn't have any monies. She doesn't have any money left though. Got a it's not your fault that you ate all it. the cookies. How does uh, that how does that follow? I have a disease. What is this disease? Uh, I'm a cleric. A I'm a cleric. Tell me your symptoms of this disease. I need cookies all the time. Alright, I'm going to run a heal check on uh, uh -oh. I'll see. <laughs> this is unnecessary surgery. No no, it's fine. I'm a I'm a cleric. I know everything uh -oh. about diseases. Uh oh whoops, I rolled bad. One second. <laughs> <laughs> let me add. Let me add the actual thing that will make it not come up as a crit. Oh, seventeen. Anyway, I detect. I detect disease in Pala. 
you detect diabetes. Is there a disease? <laughs> is there any any type of disease in Pala other high, than just a lust for cookie? High blood sugar. <laughs> I'm noticing some hypertension, but not anything that would... Yeah, hypertension in most muscles, yeah. and a little bit heightened cholesterol. <laughs> um, that's I mean, that's blood... what I said, it's hypercookieitis, that's what I got. That's her fine. blood right now is just pretty much cottage cheese. With this one... <laughs> no, no, that's silly, it's uh, more like crystallized uh, sugar. I have a question. Yeah. It's more like red rock candy, yes. <laughs> is it too late to follow those guards who were taking that guy away? You can see him through the crowd, yeah. Hmm. They're, like they're leading him. Them. They're leading him towards the opposite wing of that uh, big gate. What are they going to do to him? Like, if he's somehow not under the, under the effects of these magic, then maybe they're going to go take him there to be indoctrinated. Oh, they're going to. Well, our group is pretty inconspicuous. We could probably follow him. Pal, like, your blood is likely. made of sugar right now. Look, it's called honey. Okay. <laughs> I'm tiny. I could sneak after them. Yeah, go for it. That's true. You probably have some sort of stealth. You should do that then. Probably Prouja, like probably Prouja and Kid are the only ones who could make. I'm them. not very subtle. You probably shouldn't ask me. I'm, okay, I'm gonna. I'm, also... I'm climbing on top of this building to make sure that they're going in the right direction. Okay, Kit, are you Which... gonna go out? Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, wait, that's Rock Meets. Yeah, Rock Meets is looking out for the truth. <laughs> He's looking out for which, me. Which direction am I going? Um, northeast. Rock meets has little flags, and he kind it's of like waves over here ish. Okay. I'm I'm doing the flag thing with a half chewed bone. You're like waving in planes. Or at least. And then at like. this point, I try and be subtle, so I can get close without them noticing. That's pretty subtle. Um. But okay, as you're walking there, um, hobgoblin farmer guy with his angry pipe, which is actually <laughs> it's actually that's actually that's actually his name too, angry Ang pipe. Angry pipe, okay. Pipe is spelled different, but you know whatever. He bustles past you in the other direction, not noticing you, uh, carrying all his trays of vegetable except for his pumpkins, and grumbling under his breath. And you just catch a glimpse of the two official-looking guards being saluted by some of the lore, more schleppy-looking guards, like that teenager. Hmm. Could can I make a magical check on the uh, on the guy? See if there's something different about him. I'll tell you right now that he didn't even go inside. They just took his pumpkins inside and sent no, him I meant, this way. I meant in general. Like, why is he not not being charmed by this? You know, this holiday mania. I think he's just. Yeah, just, you can roll that. Just king tankers. He just seems he's, grumpy he's to just, me. He's just a grumpy old man. Okay, never mind that. We did buy one of his pumpkins off him, didn't we? So we can check that. We yeah. did. But it's just... We bought this coconut. Pala's, Presumably, Pala, it would just not be magical. <laughs> yeah, Pala's nature check was mostly concerning that, so it'll tell you that this is just an average, out-of-season grown pumpkin that suffered from too much cold. Hmm. So why it's did they... Also presumably bad soil. Oh, I guess they just... I guess they just confiscated all of his pumpkins because it was making the square look bad. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? I'm nodding silently. <laughs> nobody agreed with Joey. Do I see the other guards doing anything else suspicions post pumpkin removal? Um, they um, take him to a compost bin. <laughs> and then they go back inside. Oh, rip in peace, pumpkins. Yeah, you can probably steal some if you want, but they have some gross stuff on them. That was the, that was, it's really just the end of their suffering now. It's probably I better for the pumpkins. Armor out of them. Out of the can rotten, I make a, out of the rotten Can pumpkin. I make a judgment roll uh, to see if I should dig around at the I, compost heap, or do I just have to get in there? Oh, I what think... kind of skill would judgment be? <laughs> wisdom. Wisdom. It'd be like... Probably wisdom. What would, Perception. Is there, is there like any actual... Like a skill, skill, like a skill, um, probably knowledge. I have spot. Uh, spot is for like finding the monster who's about to kill you or whatever. You could sense motive of this garbage. I was about to say. I sense, can say sense, motive of the, sense motive of the garbage. You have knowledge garbage. Uh, yes, after all the time I spent with Joey. Oh. Damn. Whoa. Holy shit. Ah, damn. 
Oh no. Joey, that was the sickest burn of the session. Joey I'll tell takes, you that Joey takes five burn damage. Kit. <laughs> Kit, you already rolled in one gross pile of something today. You're not sure if you want to go for another. Cool. Can I flag rock meats down to come and do it instead since he's on the uh yeah, you can use the secret signal, which <laughs> is basically just making any signal at Rock Meets and he'll yeah, assume wave that it's... I just wave my hat up. Yeah. You say, hey guys. Rock Meets, there's something super secret they put in that compost heap. It's the signal! <laughs> <laughs> and he just face plants immediately to the ground. Yep, that's it. He flings back. Okay, cool. How much, how high up did you climb? Uh, how, how tall is this building? <laughs> Uh, that one's probably like two stories, so we're just gonna say that you took 2d10 damage from falling on your face. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use- wait, I'm gonna- I'm gonna use, uh, I can make a jump check to reduce damage. Alright, but you rolled a natural one. Yeah, but that's okay, I rolled a nine this time. What was that natural one, then? That was me jumping off the building, I didn't jump very far. And you took eight damage when you face planted. No, and then you can as roll I an fell- You can I roll an additional jump check after you're falling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> sure, that works. Whatever, 3.5. <laughs> okay, and I am running this way. And I am running this way. And okay, it's... Me. Okay. There's something super suspicious here, but I think you are better equipped to dig through it than me. This is a compost heap. <laughs> I know, and I think... I think no. my hair would get trapped. No, um, they, um, they, they put compost in there. No, they don't. They put special things in there because they know that adventurers aren't going to look in there. There are a bunch of nice flowers in front of it. I'm pretty sure that's just rotting pumpkins. That's what they want you to think. Where else what? would you hide something? Go ahead and make a diplomacy check to fool rock meets. Actually, I think I think this is a bluff check. But with a princess, bluff checks are diplomacy checks. True. Hmm. A pose check, rock meets. I don't know, make a Nope. Nope. You fall for it. <laughs> Resist compost. <laughs> ah, compost right. looks good to you. If Taka you want rock great. meats, I can hold your loincloth. The more you look at it, the more inviting it is. Rock me now like, that you mention it. This is where I've belonged my whole life. <laughs> How did I not know until now? Okay, I'm jumping into the compost heap. It's like it was made for you. <laughs> this compost heap was made for me. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm in the compost heap. I'm not sure why, but <laughs> it seemed to say it was a good idea. <laughs> I don't know, something about this compost heap, I don't know. Just if you feel more magical or find anything or bodies or <laughs> evil pumpkins. Uh, I guess I, okay, I, I, I paw my way through a compost heap. Not really sure why. Because <laughs> You're looking for evil. There's, there's very rarely evil in compost heaps. It's usually just How a bunch of know? smelly garbage. Rock me, there might be evil in the compost. I'm not, I'm not voicing these opinions. I'm just, and, and <laughs> as, as I'm doing this, I'm scooping up trash, kind of like a dog digging in the dirt and it's being flung towards Kit. Okay, she moved out of the way. <laughs> I try and dodge. Uh, you, you do. Wait, what's your AC? 17. Okay, I'm gonna do a ranged attack. <laughs> Rock meets. Okay, so Rock Meats is going to intentionally take handfuls of compost and hurl it at Kit now. Well, I, I'm blind fighting, so I'm taking negative five because I'm not looking. All right. <laughs> Kala can sense that Rock Meets is up to shenanigans. She knows. Okay, I missed. Yeah. Rock Meets. You hit Paula instead. <laughs> as, Paula comes up to, as Paula comes up to scold you, you throw and almost hit her. No, I'm fine taking a face full of garbage as I round the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Rock Meets. I've been, ta I've been taking garbage all night. <laughs> Kit told me to search this, even though I told her it was a compost, but for some reason I'm here anyway. Rock Meats, you I... should be looking for evil in this compost. It is the just and right thing to do. Well, I'm, I checked I'm, the alleyway for evil. I'm looking. 
See, Kit is looking for evil and being very just. You're not being a very good student of justice, as I am saying. looking through the compost. All right. Well, while those three are digging around in their poop pile, can I like look <laughs> around town, like about <laughs> when the uh, uh, when the what, what was her name again? The Mary Mary. The uh, Mary Magician. Thank you. I was I couldn't remember the word magician. When about when about the Mary Magician came into town and what it was like before she arrived. Yeah, sure. Make a diplomacy check or charisma okay. check. Charisma. I don't or know. Diplomacy training. Charm so person is probably better. check, I guess. I don't know. I can charm person is. without making a check because it's a spell like ability, but, you know, I won't do that because that's once a day. Well, I mean, we don't have anything that's... to do for the rest of the day. You might as well just use charm person. Well, let's try and just use it with my charisma. All right. To begin with, of which I have a, a little bit. Oh. Goodness. So how about that magic there, Proudia? <laughs> All you hear is about how great she is. <laughs> people, so no one will... People no one will, will... When you ask, people are just like, oh, I don't know. And then turn back just, to their work. They don't, because they you're don't on, really remember? No, you're honestly just not being very engaging, I'm afraid. Oh. <laughs> I... Uh, Joey, why don't you try? You try starting a conversation. Oh, uh, let's see. What can you still learn? Um... Let's see. She hasn't been here long, is the overall vibe you get. You're not sure how long long is, but she's definitely not like a permanent resident of this town or anything like that. Hey, fellow hater of the Merry Magician, she sure sucks, hey? Right? Nudge nudge. That was a surprisingly good roll. 18. You ran into the same Hobgoblin again. What? I don't. I already know you don't like her. You ran into Angry Pipe. Angry Pipe, get out of here. I was trying to talk to somebody Angry else. Angry Pipe, tell us about more about the Merry Magician. When did she come into town? What was it like before she arrived? Has anything major changed? Uh, she came here like, let's see, it must have been half a year ago. And oh, that's I'll, not long at all. I'll admit that, sure, the town has been getting better. It's been more of a destination or whatever. Uh, before this, you know, it used to be, back in my day, it was one of the most popular passes through the Mighty Mountains, but now people prefer... To take the long route over to the line in the sand, because uh, there's, you know, a lot bigger town, a lot more... Uh, blah, 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 it goes on and on. So in those six months, have you just been having a six-month-long pumpkin festival? No, of course not. That would be silly. How long has it been going on, then? A pumpkin festival's been going on for about a month. It usually lasts about a week, but... Like, honestly, this isn't the most heinous use of magic that any of you have ever heard of. No, I guess not. No, it's still a little a little odd, though. Just everything has a little odd. Pumpkins. Pumpkins. What's so great about pumpkins, anyway? They st- Some of them have faces on them. They don't really taste very good. I tried to eat one, and it was gross, and I threw it on the ground. I... Uh, Some of them I'm have just... faces on them. Are they grown with I want to talk to one of the pumpkin they faces. On? They are carved on. None of the pumpkins that you see in town have natural faces. I want to talk to the pumpkin with a face. Oh wait, oh wait, no. There's one guy that's walking around with a pumpkin on his head with a hole carved out for his face. I don't want so to that's talk to fine. that guy. Okay, nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to try to talk to a pumpkin with a face carved on it? Yeah, what's up awesome. with you? Why are you colluding with the merry magician? It does not respond. A nearby farmer looks at you oddly. Okay, I'm also, digging. Uh, also, apparently my <laughs> snake facts earlier were completely wrong. Prowza should be sensing magic through her tongue. Yeah, that's actually what I was thinking, which is why I was going yeah. to scent. I was, and I was mistaken. Your body. That's well, okay. no wonder you kept rolling ones. Yeah, yeah you're true. you're trying to see it when you should have been tasting it. It's probably, for, probably so, true. So, with that in mind, obviously she can re-roll, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no. Okay, well, I, that's... You've already... I think we're reaching the limits of what we can really learn about the situation about getting an audience with the Merry Magician. Maybe we should go and... Why are you rolling all these ones? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm digging. Rockmeats is now exhausted from digging for eight straight arrow hours. <laughs> I rolled a 20. Rockmeats dug to the center of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find any evil? Rockmeats will not get an extended rest today because he spent eight hours digging. <laughs> Oh no, he touched the magma core. Now he is one with the earth. (laughs) He's one with the core. 
It's so dark you down evil? here. Proji, I don't think we're gonna talk to anybody. We should probably just go to bed for today. Yeah, I was, I was saying that. The I pumpkin think we should face go to bed. guy is coming towards you guys. No, <laughs> I'm gonna walk away from the pumpkin faced man. <laughs> All right, make a make a roll to try to lose the pumpkin faced man. I'm gonna just make a nonchalantly pretend I'm not looking at the pumpkin faced man check. Okay, that's pretty good. The pumpkin faced man starts heading for Proji instead. <laughs> Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, Prouse has to man for happen. himself when it comes to the pumpkin man. <laughs> Prouse, you make a roll to avoid the pumpkin Oh, oh my god! We oh. Damn. <laughs> what do you say to the pumpkin face man to get him to stop bugging you? I, uh... Um... Just say, just say snakes can't eat pumpkin. And that's it. He, he's not actually a pumpkin, he just has a very pumpkin-esque <laughs> face, right? It's just a fucking guy who has an oval <laughs> cut out of a pumpkin, and he's wearing it on his oh. head. <laughs> I, uh... His clothes very clearly have little bits of pumpkin goop on them. What? You also <laughs> notice that everybody else in the town square is avoiding on his head? Maybe he just wasn't thorough. I'm gonna talk to that guy. I common the right. thorough spirit to be a bunch of insects investing his hat. Oh no. He walks off concernedly, but not concernedly enough to take it off, apparently. <laughs> oh no, there's bugs. I better go shower on, in my pumpkin helmet. Yeah, that's what he does. He goes over to the bathhouse and is once again, just like every other time he tried today, refused entry. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to deal with the pumpkin man. He seems like a very... Does he have... It's getting on towards dinner time now. We should go eat and go to bed. And then go I, I go into the bathhouse and oh, there's say, a pretty, Hi. There's a pretty good tavern uh, I know. A rabbit <laughs> convinced me to jump into garbage for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> this... Can I can I can I have your worst room, Joey, please? He leads he leads you around to like a tub out back, not even the outhouses that Kit got put in, but just like a tin tub. That's fine. There's That's also so not bad. any water in it, just sand. Oh, I'm okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna climb in and go to sleep. <laughs> okay. Good night, Rock Meats. <laughs> Rock Meats cleans himself like a chinchilla in a dust bath. Yeah. I try and help because I feel bad, and I also don't want a composty teammate. Okay, you shovel, you shove <laughs> sand. <laughs> I just, I just cover rocks up. And you then kinda, leave. You kind of, you kind of just realize that we all, that we're only sharing one you, room tonight. You build, you build a small uh, sand castle of your former kingdom in the forest, and you sigh wistfully <laughs> and go back to the hotel, or the, rather the blue light, which he, the owner thinks it's pretentious to call it an inn or a tavern or, or anything, so he just calls it the blue light. The but, pretentious in and of itself. But he also can't roll a cigarette, so whatever. I want to check on Gary. Gary, Gary looks sad. Oh, Gary, why are you sad? Gary hasn't been able to go underground in a long time because you know it was usually the onk eggs back in the beetle colony who did most of the digging. So even though he's been trying a little bit all day, he's not. He hasn't made much of a depression in the sand, unlike his own oh. depression at not being able to. What sent him to the compost yeah, hole? Yeah, take him to the hole. Yeah. Okay. You can take Gary to the compost hole, but it's Will that make him happy or should I bring him one of those sand buckets from the bathhouse and just dump it on him? The compost <laughs> will probably make him happier. Okay, I take Gary to the compost heap. Okay, now that the ground is softer here with all the disgusting pumpkin muck, um, he's able to expand uh, Rock Meat's existing hole. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a pretty big hole already. 